how are you guys doing? I hope you are awake, alive, and just living life. My name is Victoria Gure. I am Olashu Bomidrodola. You can call me Esther Viade. And welcome to <laughs> the, the time. time! Oh, girls, how are you? I'm good. I mean, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Esther, I'm, I'm good. good. I'm good. <laughs> I hope you guys have been taking care of yourselves. Oh, as you can see. The girl is looking fly. Uh, <laughs> are you oh, Esther, <laughs> Esther, <laughs> please. It's positivity. Yes. Like, you know, you know, you know, Thank she you, said darling. She, she meditates and all that. So, please. Surround mm. yourself with positive energy. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> this leads me into what I want to talk about today. So, mm. let's talk. Let's talk. So, you know, I'm all about self care, taking care of yourself mentally and whatnot. Mm. And now, I, my self-care doesn't mean that I will block people out of my life and blah, blah, blah. But I have a specific friend that when she goes into that zone, she literally blocks people out. Like she deactivates her Instagram. She doesn't answer phone calls. She just goes into the zone and she could literally be in it for like a month or two months and whatnot. Mm. And when she's finally back online, she says, that, no, I was just taking care of myself, my mental health and all that. And I was like, oh, interesting. So... But then some of our friends think that she's being selfish. So now my question is prioritizing your time and your mental health, you being selfish? No. I'll say no too, actually. <laughs> but I would say that there are different ways to go about it. But then again, I've come to understand that you need to, you need to let people be how they are. Mm. So long as it's not affecting you in like a negative way, then... You really, you can't tell people how to prioritize their mental health. Like, yeah. oh, well, if you do want to prioritize your mental health, at least inform me about it. Mm. It's their decision to make. After, they can come and explain to you. And it's on you as a friend or family member or loved one to try to see reason in how they choose to prioritize themselves. I mean... With what is going on these days, a lot of people are going through a whole a lot. lot of yeah. things. Yeah. So if that's what works for this person, I feel like we should just encourage it and be there for them. Yeah, I agree. You know, there's something we call selfishness and self-care. Yeah. When you're selfish, it means you're thinking like the whole world revolves around you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if you're, we're talking about self-care, it means like the world involves you. So you don't go about thinking of other people, what, uh, what other people think mm -hmm. about you. Yeah. You want to take care of yourself because you want to be happy. So whatever works for you in getting mm -hmm. yourself back on your feet, please go ahead and do it. Well, I think the friends that said that she was being selfish came from a point of they clearly needed her during that time. And she just went AWOL. And it's not the first time. I remember there was a time where we would ask her to do like the smallest things and auntie would say no and whatnot. So I know being a selfish person, you basically put yourself above others, yeah. right? That's what being selfish is. You're no, self-centered. Not entirely though. No. How? Not entirely. If, if you selfish. put yourself above others, you want yourself to be happy first before other people. Well, it depends which is not on how you look at it. You're putting yourself before everyone else, right? Even though you, Are you Am I supposed to put other people before me? Well, selflessness, isn't that what selflessness is no. all about? No. <laughs> isn't that what selflessness is about? No, it's it's not love your neighbor as yourself, not love your neighbor more than yourself. Yeah, exactly. I'm not saying, I'm not in that period, I'm not saying she loves her neighbor more than herself. I'm just using that as, as an example. Well, there are intervals where you would have to put someone else before you, someone else's needs before you. But right? you can't, well, you not, can't, not at a detriment to your exactly. own self. If you're putting someone else's needs before you and it's poking holes in you, then. What's the point? I mean, At the end of the day, you need to well, be able to focus on your needs and yeah. desires to be able to give something good out back in return. You can't pour from an empty, empty cup. cup. Let's, let's, let's look at friendship now, right? Mm, yeah. Obviously, there are times where you have to make yourself uncomfortable in order to accommodate your friend. Yeah, mm -hmm. we do so, that. Yeah. Exactly. So now I'm busy saying she refuses to do the slightest things all she the time oh, exactly okay well that's different if she's refusing to do every borrow money thing. she'll say ah oh, no i need to keep all the money i have for a specific something and blah blah well, blah i need to do this for exactly. myself that's what i was about to say that no, exactly. she she needing money. the help too not really she's not she's very independent so i wouldn't say she's... Ah, but no she can't deal with that for long i mean but no man is an island she's, she's been you doing definitely... well though but then she's like, I'm taking care of myself. It's, it's a priority for me to be okay mentally, physically, financially. So everyone else doesn't matter. I mean, aside 
from the doing things for you and borrowing money? Is there, mm. are there other things that she maybe, just... Maybe emotional yeah, support. Exactly, that she does. Like, is she always ready to listen to your Yeah, she's always, she's always willing to listen. I mean, but when exactly, it comes to material so stuff so and... Oh, people are like different. If you, <laughs> exactly. If, if, you, if you feel like, okay, materialistically, mm. I'm, not, I'm not there. Honestly, I understand because... When I, there, was a, there was a time when I was in secondary school that I had a mentality. Mm. So when it came to my provisions and some things, I never asked people for things. And I wouldn't give you either. I just had maybe one or two friends that if they asked me, I would give them. But mm -hmm. when it came to, oh, can I have some meal, conflicts, water, this, anything that had to do with like essentials, yeah. I'm like, I'm sorry, no, I can't give. I'm managing myself. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't, you would... Some people, people would call you selfish some for doing No, that. some people call <laughs> yeah. me stingy for sure. Mm -hmm. But I never asked from people as well. And the reason why I got to that point is when I first... That was maybe towards the end of my secondary school yeah. years. When I first started early on, I used to give. Mm. And the next thing I know, I'll run out. And mm. when, it's time, when I need them, I ask them to help. There'll be nobody to give me. Yeah. So I remember going back and I asked my old, older brother, who also went to the same school, but had left this school. I was like, I don't understand. Like, I'm always giving people. Why is it that when me, I need, need. And he'd be like, well, then maybe you need to change your strategy. Mm. Maybe you need to you know what ration, what you have. Exactly. And make sure it's make enough sure for you. For you. Mm. you won't give anybody, but remember that you can't beg in return. Yeah. And that was, after a while, that was what I did. People and it worked called, for you. People yeah. called me stingy, but I knew what I was doing. <laughs> you have been self-sufficient. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I read an article on Health Corps, and it said that loving yourself isn't always the easiest thing. But it's much easier giving love to others like friends and family than you giving it to yourself. And that just made me think. I'm like, hmm, okay. If it's hard for me to love myself, then I'm not selfish, right? If I'm always willing to give it out and whatnot. No, you're not selfish. So me taking some time out to actually focus on myself doesn't make me selfish. At all. No, <laughs> I think I, I think everyone should take time out to focus on themselves. Exactly, because... Desires. Because, I mean, you can't... Okay, so there's this um, Latin phrase, which is a legal terminology. It's um, nemo dat cod non abet. Nemo dat cod non abet. Which means you can't give what you, you don't have. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, in legal terminology, it actually means you can't transfer um, title in a property to somebody. if That title doesn't even belong to, to you. you to begin but with. But the literal meaning mm. is you can't give what you don't have, which... I can't give you love or give you care and mm -hmm. support that you need if I'm lacking in yeah. it. I can only try, but it would be different if I'm, you know, I'm full of mm -hmm. love and I've taken time yeah. out, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Then what I will pour back into you or give you would be, be something full good. as well. Yeah. True. So, Shibami, I want to find out from your side, what, okay. makes a, what would make a friend selfish in your eyes? What would make, what would make a friend selfish? Mm -hmm. um, Let's say if the friend has been receiving from me mm -hmm. or receiving from other people and when it comes to them to give back to mm -hmm. the society or give back to other people and they refuse blatantly. They are a leech. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that means you're being selfish because, yeah, yeah you've been collecting too. So exactly. why can't you give? So that's but the only thing. Do they have to give at that point in time? Not at that point in time, exactly. Like over time, because if push comes to shove, mm -hmm. it remains you yourself and yeah. you. <laughs> so, I mean, other people will need you as you need other people. Yeah, Esther? Things that will make me think that a friend is selfish. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like I've said this so many times here. Maybe, maybe not, but I say <laughs> it a lot. Like, mm. what draws me to people is kindness. Yeah. And I'm really much of a, you give me this type of vibe, I give you that return. vibe. Return, yeah. Mm. So if you give me bad vibes... I wouldn't necessarily give you bad vibes in return. Mm -hmm. I just wouldn't give you any vibe There'll at all. There will definitely be a reaction. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah. if you're kind towards me, I'm usually kind towards you. Mm -hmm. And I've come to realize, for example, when I was in, when I was in um, university, there was this particular lady. Mm -hmm. We'll go to school together and maybe we we'll pay our transport fare together. And if I pay, sometimes I don't ask her. Mm -hmm. I don't ask her for it. But every time she pays, she would ask to the last Five Naira. <laughs> wow. I am yeah, not exactly. kidding yeah. wow. as far back as then to the last five Naira. And I'll just be like, 
How about the times when I paid for, for it? You. Exactly. I never asked Some you Some people back. don't think about so that at all. So for me, I think that's what I'll say is selfish. If mm -hmm. I'm willing to do much for you, mm -hmm. you're willing to take, but then mm -hmm. when it's your turn, turn. I'm not yeah. saying all the time give mm -hmm. me, you know, mm -hmm. I'm not in your pocket or yeah. anything, but at least here and there in your little way, if you can't give in... Um, Money, you can also give yes, him time, give him exactly, support, exactly. emotional exactly. support, exactly. You know, um, one some time ago, I had this conversation about how far you would be willing to go to help a friend and whatnot. Mm. And then I gave a, I gave an example of, let's say, a sleepover at my house. Okay. One thing about me is I love comfort. I would never deliberately make myself uncomfortable and whatnot. So then I told the person, I'm like, if I have friends coming over to my house. I don't mind sharing my bed with you, but then I will also make sure that I am on my bed. Like, I will shift to the last corner mm -hmm. because I want to also have a nice night like, down to sleep, sleep well. well. Exactly, I want to sleep well. I'm not going to sleep and I don't on mind, the floor. Exactly, and I don't mind sharing with you. And then the person was like, no, that just makes you a very selfish friend because you are hosting people, yet you are sleeping on the bed. You're not telling them Why? to sleep on the floor. Exactly. No, like, well, the house is full. So obviously some people have to sleep on the floor, but I am but not, not one of them. No. And the okay. person was like, no, that is actually a very selfish way of thinking because you're hosting people, so it's only right that you make them completely comfortable and then you sleep on the floor. And I'm like... People have different levels because you are willing to go 201% for them. Does not mean I want to go 200%. And that doesn't make me a selfish person. I just won't put myself in a very uncomfortable position. I, I don't know if that makes me selfish, but I'm not willing to go it's that far. It's not selfishness. It's, not, it's just caring about yourself. And you're not placing other people, you're not placing their priorities above yours, yeah. which is not a crime. I mean, I've met people that won't mind actually mm -hmm. sleeping. Yeah. And actually, have a friend. Far back, anytime I go see her, even back in uni, mm. sometimes she'll sleep on the floor, I'll sleep on the bed, and I'll be like, no, we can manage. And she'll be like, no, 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 she's fine. Yeah. And she didn't mind. Mm -hmm. But, and for me, I could equally do that, but I get you. I like mm -hmm. to sleep comfortably too. I like so. to sleep comfortably. Mm -hmm. You know, I kind of understand. <laughs> <laughs> crying, my you know, I, I was busy reading as well on the internet um, that on Quara, a lady mm. asked that. Um, Am I being selfish for caring about myself? And people, a lot of, and people replied, two people specifically said that, well, the fact that you are only now realizing that you need to take care of yourself is a perfect reflection of the type of people you have around you. Mm. So it just got me thinking, I'm like, do the people around me like suck a lot out of me that I forget that I matter and I need to take care of myself? Or is it internal where I just focus all my energy on everyone else and forget myself? It actually... Got me thinking. I was like, well, these are things that we should actually think about. So now, guys, I want to find out from you. Are you selfish? And then using the excuse of prioritizing myself <laughs> and what, what, what self-care as an excuse? Or are you just really just taking care of yourself and making sure that you are okay emotionally, physically, uh, mentally, and yeah, <laughs> just financially. <laughs> and financially. Like, please let us know in the comment section how far you would go to help a friend, and basically what makes someone selfish. Yeah, I would think I'd be interested to hear that. But yeah, do not go anywhere. We still have a fun show lined up for you. See you soon. Hey people, welcome back to The, the time. time. And it's time for Hey Sis. Hey Sis. <laughs> As you all know, this is my favorite segment. Mm. <laughs> I always say it. Every segment. I know you're always <laughs> waiting for me to be here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, girls. So I was at a wedding the other day and this incident actually happened right before my eye. So there's this lady I know. I will I won't really call her a friend, but she's kind of more than an acquaintance. acquaintance. Yes. You know, people that just sit in, in between. between that mm -hmm. line. And she and this guy, the way you know, they were like cutting eyes for each other. And everybody, yeah. everybody at my table knew that okay, something was going on. <laughs> we were laughing with them. We were blushing with them. It was sweet. Yeah. <laughs> what is sweet? <laughs> <laughs> the vibe was good. And then our friend was like, ah, oh, she got. She should go say hi to the guy. She was like, mm -mm, the, how, like, how is she? Like, go, go talk to him, you know, yeah. go, like, ah. 
Yeah, an adult. Like, it's not a big deal. And mm. everybody was deliberating on the table. Yeah. You know, we had had a couple to drink. And everyone was like, yes, go! Mm. You know, energy. Exactly. Energy. You need fun. Yeah. Alcohol <laughs> brings out a different spirit in everyone. Exactly. <laughs> and then she walked up to him. And then, I don't know what happened. And then she came back. And all I had was, oh, like, oh, like, it was like, I'm sorry, I'm married. I was like, ah, ah yeah. Ooh. Sorry, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I'm sorry, I'm I married. I sister. <laughs> I feel so bad for her, too. Are you one of the people motivating her to go ask him uh, out? Honestly, uh, I can't remember. But I remember I laughed after. I'm sorry. Yeah, we can. <laughs> and it just got me thinking. Yeah. Like, what's you guys take on women shooting their shots? Like go for it. Like, yes. What I mean, you were like, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> go for it. I mean, it's not a bad thing if you shoot your your shot as a woman. Yeah. Uh, you, you you lose hundred uh-huh. percent of the shot you don't shoot. True. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So True. if you shoot your shot, it's 50 50. Either you win or not. So I, I like, mean, you don't win every game. <laughs> so yeah. just take your L and move I again. shot my shot. You did. Well, I don't know if you guys will count this initial shot as a please, shot. Please. <laughs> but anyway, I was actually the one that sent my husband a friend request on Facebook. Wow. Okay, no, yes. that's not, that's no, not no, no, no. L- okay. Listen. And then um, I friend zoned him. Well, he refused to be friend zoned for a while. While I was busy contemplating, should I go back to my ex? Should I stay and whatnot? So then he lost hope and forgot all about me. So when I finally realized, I'm like, this is the person I want. I had to now do some of the chasing, like sliding into the DMs. Hi, how are I'm you? So I'm so surprised. You are a top lady, look. You be surprised, like, oh, he was begging, begging me. me to marry. That's the vibe she gives. He was begging and rolling. Well, and he, he was marry. begging at first, but I didn't give him a green light. So then I had to do some chasing, and look at me now. Marry, oh, marry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I personally lo- know like two couples that it was the lady that shot the shot. Energy. And they're married. Yes. Very smooth something. <laughs> nice. Um, according to a survey by Match.com, mm-hmm. five, taken by 5,000 single men and women, 65% of guys have been asked out by a girl and, and 91% of them are super, super cool with women making the first move. Mm. So my question is: Is asking a guy out desperate? Because some Ooh, women it depends on like, how you ask him out. Well, <laughs> you know, he should chase me. You know, he should woo me. Like if I'm asking you, it'd be like I'm begging. Do you guys feel like I, it's desperate? No, okay, no, I do not. I understand that it's not widely accepted in the society, or it's yeah. not the normal thing to do because we're expected to be chased by men. But if you like somebody, chase him. Go for it. Chase him. <laughs> what, what if the person has been nursing some kind of likeness for you too? Yes. Just makes it easy for both of you. Exactly. So please. And some men, some men actually love how straightforward you are. Think, they I think, think it's, it's sexy. sexy. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> They'll be like, oh, okay, you know what you I'm want. She got some nerves. <laughs> Honestly, I, I feel like I feel like most men, they might not admit it. They actually do find it sexy. But for me, I don't know. If I were to go about it, I guess, I don't know. Would you guys be stylish with it or you just be obvious? You know what? I like you. Would you like be confession? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's hear it. So I saw a guy on Twitter and to be honest, I was smitten. Mm, wow. <laughs> like I liked him. So I sent a DM and I sent a DM and I told him that okay, yeah, I saw your picture, blah blah blah. Can we be friends and all that? So we got talking. And Can we be friends? Run. But me sounded like all those those uncles on Facebook. <laughs> I'm not, I not, not, not the exact, exact words. <laughs> I'm just like summarizing things, yeah. not the exact words. Mm. And we got talking. I told him that okay, yeah, I like you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yes, I wow. Yeah, I mean, I give my cred- myself credit for it. But at the end of the day, things did not work out mm-hmm. between us because he likes somebody else. Aww. Yeah. But it's always like that. The ones you like don't like you. <laughs> the ones I mean, you don't like like you. Very good I was about to say, oh, I've never done that before. And I just remembered when I was in university, there was this guy that I... I I would say I was smitten to we at this event and it just passed and I was like, God, this guy is gorgeous. <laughs> and then I was waiting for them to say something related to him so I could catch his name. Mm. And then I caught his name and I actually, I don't know if I actively went to look for him on Facebook, but I did send him a friend request mm. and then 
he messaged me and I was like, oh, are you, you know, this person's sister? And I was like, yes. And I was trying to play it coy. And we were really cool for a while. Yeah. And But I sometimes I got green light, sometimes I didn't. And then, It was orange. And <laughs> later on, when I had moved on totally, like, okay, this isn't happening. I just asked him randomly. I was like, did you at any point even like me? Mm. And he was like, yeah. But... <laughs> Okay. But <laughs> the Holy Spirit did not tell him to go ahead. Excuse me? Oh, yes. Is that that? He, he actually said that oh, to me. Oh, and I was like, such well, a religious person. Holy Spirit. It's all those guys that will tell you, the Lord showed me in my dream. Holy you're my Spirit. wife. Oh, my God, my wife. Do me that one. Oh, gosh, no. I can't. For me, I was a little subtle about it. I don't think I outright. I took a comedic turn to it because I'm like, I'm one person that if you see me, you probably won't think that I laugh a lot lot maybe i don't know but then i love making jokes and i love saying rubbish and foolish things so i would say all these things to him like just to hint like mumu take this hint and walk okay. with me like so, help me let's say you you know you asked him out you know you guys have gone on dates you've yeah. been dating can you propose to him no, that's so far. Uh, no, I don't think I want to. Uh, uh, if he says no, exactly. Oh, well. I don't handle rejection well. I'll cut some. Like, that's, that's that's what what you guys do realize that they've said no to a whole lot of guys before, uh, and yeah. then it's they've not said it all. They're like used to it. In the they're used to it. I can even use to it. Yes, to it. I, I mean, it's I've expected. Bet, I bet every single guy in uni that's not afraid of girls that can actually talk to girls has been rejected at least three or four times. At least, so you're used to it. Me, what if, ah. what if the relationship is in such a very comfortable position? You guys, the going is strong. You guys are good. Mm-hmm. You've talked married talk, but mm. it just it just hasn't proposed, and you feel like okay. I will buy the ring and give it to him. Like, <laughs> like you do it. No, I'm helping him. I'm giving you that push. Like you know when babies start That's working, you, pro- you buy them the directly. Walkers. Exactly, I bought the ring. Go down on one knee. <laughs> I would not go down on one knee. Are you, you know, my, my, my husband and I have this ongoing joke where he's like, yeah, I did most of the chasing. I proposed to you. Why don't you also propose to me? I've been saying I'll propose to him since last year. I still won't. I mean, issues? <laughs> me, go down on one knee, please. I mean, I know that, yes, traditionally, it's been guys that mm-hmm. are supposed to go down on one knee. But actually... I actually watched a movie about this and I read this online that there's a practice in Europe, an Irish legend actually, that every leap year, February 29th, women can actually propose to their, you know, intended. February 29th. Yes, they'll go down on one knee and propose to them. Good luck to them. So if you're ahead of this concept, would you be willing to? Well, if, if, (laughs) if I'm in that society where they don't see it as a... Um, as an abnormal thing, maybe, just maybe, I would do it. I mean, we're already dating Abby, and we've talked about it. I won't, I won't maybe. do it. I believe in fairy tales, all this Cinderella stuff. Where it what? I don't understand. You, you feel self-conscious that what? That not self-conscious. Scared of rejection. It wouldn't. Well, the yes. What, yes. The what won't be the same. Like it won't value you because I've 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 read so many things like mm. that by women that oh, the reason why they don't want to shoot their shot. Or propose for us is that it's not going to value them. So the men will grow yeah. wings and But you guys also need to think of it from the guy's side of things. Like some guys don't like it. They're like, you're taking my manhood, literally my manhood away from But me. I heard that some well, a lot of guys find it exciting. Some find it exciting, some are like you're not supposed to. Well, it's not I, your job. <laughs> Mind your business. Well, why are you wasting time? <laughs> well, exactly. Why are you wasting, wasting time? time. So I read an article on Cora, this guy Alan. His wife actually proposed to him mm. and he said he didn't have an issue with it. He didn't feel emasculated or anything like yeah. that mm. because their relationship was in a very good spot. Yeah. And it just felt like, you know, it's it's modern times. Women are taking up space. Women are doing stuff. So it really shouldn't be an issue. And if you already mm. value the woman, the first, by, he said in the first place, if you're dating somebody, mm. yeah. you should already value the, the person, person to some mm-hmm. extent. So... Why is it that them proposing to you should make you feel less, less of a man? Exactly. Guys, you need to understand people have pride. Not everyone. So it basically, you're saying pride is the reason why you won't propose. Ne- no. Uh, uh, take say it. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. blah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, but no, I don't think it's just, it's just not something I can envision myself doing. Like, 
Let him do it. It's what he's supposed to do. Kudos to the ladies out there that yes. choose to go down on one go knee. Queen. I salute you guys. Go queen. But for me, I'm fine on my two feet. I'm not going down on one knee. I mean, knee. you're married. You have nothing to bother about. Anymore. If I wasn't. If I wasn't. Ladies, <laughs> I particularly want to know if you've ever shot your shot, if you've ever asked a guy out, mm -hmm. if you've ever found yourself in this position before. Yeah. If you've ever proposed to a guy, yes. I feel like, you know, we're in a different modern world right mm. now women are allowed to do whatever they want mm -hmm. and i read an article on washington post it says guys are more attracted to women who are confident enough to strike up conversation first and express interest it's mm. true trust me i actually believe that it's really sexy there's like this zazz that comes with it mm. so, charge. exactly yeah. so if you want to shoot your shot feel like a boss lady please do it men have been doing it for years They've been they rejected sometimes. Did they, they no, they no, they die? No, they If you like him, walk up to him and tell him you do. Nothing is going to so happen. You, wait, you tell them up. Esther said so. No, Esther wants this. Like, you walk up to a guy like, hey, boo, I really like you. No, no, no. Come on. <laughs> I really like you. You, you plus me is two. <laughs> no, two plus two is four. Is four. <laughs> <laughs> okay, family. So now we've come to the end of today's segment. An ACES. Please keep the conversation going. We want to hear what you have to say. Please share your experiences. Stay with us. We'll be right back for fun of us. Hey, welcome back, the Time Family. How are you doing? Guess what, guys? I, I really want us to say it together. It is time for Final Plan! <laughs> this is where we ease all the stress we've been going through. Yes. And I'm sure that you've been expecting... Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Did you collect it? Yes. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sure that you'll be expecting that. What game do we have for you this time, girl? I really want to take us down the memory lane. Games we played in primary school, secondary school. I really want to know if you played the game. So the game is called Name, Place, Animal, Thing. I'm going to give these two ladies some alphabet, and they are going to name names that start with the alphabet. So I will start with the names first. Okay. Are you ready? Only names. Is it only no, names? No, we proceed. We'll do the four at a go or just... Just one at a go. So if you say names, Name. we'll just do names, names of people that start with. Okay, okay. Yeah. and then you will say place, then we now. Yes, okay. yes, exactly. So are you ready? I'm yes. ready. You're ready. I'm ready. Okay, you give it back to back. So the person that loses first. Who's starting first? Victoria. Okay. I didn't. Go, I didn't volunteer. What is this? She, I chose you. She called your name. You're the chosen one. Okay, name, name, name. Names of people that start with S. Shama. Shaliwa. Selena. Sugar. Time up. <laughs> I must say Sri Lanka. Lanka. Name, 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 names of places that start with P. Philippines. Portugal. Uh, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Patakot. P8. Time up, time up. <laughs> <laughs> name, name, name. I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> okay. Names of animals that start with B. Bird. Bat, baboon. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're leading still, actually. Yeah, name, 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 names of um, things that start with R. Red. Rice. Bow. <laughs> what, what, wait, what did you say? Red bow. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll give it to you again. Name, name, <laughs> names of things that start with R. Radio. Rod. Rice. <laughs> Rise, let's like, continue with the time. Rib. Time up, time up. We'll start yeah. again. Name, 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 names <laughs> of people that start with M. Magawa. Misa. Manny. Muhammad. Michelle. Mommy. Maggie. Martins. Magdalene, Michael, Mary, Matthew, Meticia, Melinda. Okay, <laughs> Melinda, <laughs> Melissa. Okay, 
Mekinda. What's that? Wait, wait. wait. The name from where? Namibia. Okay. Continue. Oh, okay. <laughs> Makinde. Mew. Hmm? What's Mew? <laughs> <laughs> That is definitely <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> I just say with so much confidence. It's a Chinese <laughs> term. <play. laughs> <laughs> 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 you to cheat away. Me, you. Do you know what me is? You should be ashamed of yourself. I tried. <laughs> Boom! And the winner of this game segment is. Esther! <laughs> I want to thank me Mew for is, me. Mew is a word. I want to thank it. me for getting me through this. I want to thank me for being the champion. Yes, girl. I'm proud of you, girl. <laughs> Mew, no, no, let me tell you. Mew means big head. You have a Mew. It's okay, Victoria. <laughs> you, 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 you have a Mew. <laughs> no problem. I, I accept. You also have a Mew. I do <laughs> Okay, okay. It's, oh, God. it's definitely been fun. <laughs> are you crying? <laughs> She's crying. I have tears in my eyes. Oh, God. <laughs> <sighs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I remember when I cheated the other day and she was like, Esther, you're such a... <laughs> Mew. Mew. Mew is something. Google is it. Please. No, no, no. Really. Uh, Google no, it. No, no, no. And then write in the comment section what it actually means. Don't it defend that bullshit. Don't it's a Mew. <laughs> I stand by <laughs> it. That's exactly. All right, people at home, thank you, thank you very much for staying with us till this very, very moment. We love you, and I know that you love us as well. We discussed and let's talk and hey, since we discussed them, um, discussed prioritizing yourself. Is it a selfish move mm -hmm. or not? Yeah. And on hey, since we discussed about women shooting their shots. And I will shoot say to you shot, baby, over girl. and over again, please shoot your shot. Yes. You never can tell that man. Might be your future husband. Shotgun. <laughs> shoot your shot. My God. Shoot All right, that and you is the word. Ow. Can you guys keep short? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right, that brings us to the end of this wonderful episode of yeah. The Time. Please yeah. keep watching The Time. The Time is the, the show. show and the show, show is The Time. time. Bye. <laughs>